Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. A good uh good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, on this Wednesday. Wednesday, June the eighth, twenty sixteen, it's four fifty PM. And here we sit. Another review. Of course, this is the report of the week, and this is Running on Empty Food Review. Today's review is for the bacon mozzarella burger from Wendy's. It's the bacon mozzarella burger and uh, rumor has it that it features both bacon and mozzarella. Now uh, you may notice a change in uh, camera. Uh, we switched it up. We're using the HD one you know, 720p. Some people say it's not even enough but uh, it is HD and uh, more vibrant colors. You know I always like using this old little little camera here. You know uh, heck, we'll film it while we're, we'll get a little inception going. We're, we're filming, we're filming you now, but, uh, <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, is that I enjoy, you know, people have said they enjoyed using this type of, uh, older non-HD camera for this setting, and, uh, when I did the review yesterday of this camera, people, uh, I don't know, a lot of people didn't like it, they were, um, some people were messaging me, they were visibly upset, I don't know, I just like to use this old little, you know, camera for, uh, some of the you know, traditionalists who enjoyed the older camera and the older aesthetic, but, uh, I don't know, there was just a backlash that I didn't expect, so we're trying out this one, but, it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, little guy, don't worry. Anyways, so we're just trying out, uh, the HD camera, seeing how that works, so uh, we'll see how everything comes out, and what the public opinion is, but, uh, I want your thoughts, what camera do you want me to use here? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, here's the sandwich. Uh, the, the sandwich uh, here, you can you can see there's the bun with some leafy greens on it. And then here's the remainder of it with some more leafy greens on it. Um, according to the website, it says their bacon mozzarella burger features natural mozzarella cheese, garlic parmesan cheese spread, oven cooked thin cut apple with smoked bacon, a quarter pound beef patty, sliced red onions, and a spring mix on a toasted garlic brioche bun. Imagine this is just the spring mix then. Um, spring mix, it's a very, very vague term. Got something in my eye here. It's a very vague term though, spring mix. I don't know, I guess it means whatever, whatever crap they found in their lawn that they just grabbed and threw on, you know. Um, as I said, in terms of sauce, it has the uh, garlic parmesan cheese spread, and in terms of cheese, it has the mozzarella cheese. So, while, uh, while they call it the bacon mozzarella burger, there's clearly more to it than just bacon and mozzarella, because if it was just that, it'd be kind of a, uh, dare I say, a, uh, bit of a, bit of a waste. <clears throat> Anyways, I can see the spreads here on top and bottom buns, so it says get to eating, and we'll get to reviewing thereafter. Alright, so let's do it. Going in. The uh, bacon mozzarella burger from Wendy's. Stupid idiot. Forgot the napkins again. Oh well. Now quickly get them after I'm done eating. Be right back. To get the napkins, of course, which is right here. <clears throat> okay, okay. Good, 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 good. 
Good, good. Good. Good, good, good. Throwing it. And we're off to buy the garbage by a long shot. Ladies and gentlemen, what does the uh, bacon mozzarella burger from Wendy's taste like? Alright, there's several components, of course, you want to know. Well, what does the bacon taste like? What does the mozzarella taste like? What does the rest of the condiments and, you know, accoutrements on this burger taste like? Well, here's what you get, alright? You bite in, first things first, you're going to notice the brioche bun. Um, they even called it a toasted garlic brioche bun. You can't really taste any of the garlic in this alleged toasted garlic brioche bun. However, you do notice that the bun offers quite a bit of chewiness to the sandwich, and uh, there is a bit of a chewy, chewy texture to it. The bun is just very doughy and very chewy in nature. All right, now the burger itself is uh, fairly standard. It's uh, a little bit on the blander side, though. Again, the burger is uh, pretty savory. It does have a good melt-in-your-mouth type of flavor. Um, the meat itself is uh, not that chewy, just very soft, um, pretty juicy, but it is lacking a, a saltiness, which I think would complement it better. Now, in terms of the mozzarella cheese, here is where we account or uh, come upon a problem. The fact of the matter is that our uh, our corporate pals at uh, at Wendy's, or I don't know if they actually are wearing purple anymore. I don't know what color uniform they're wearing, but nonetheless, uh, you know, they I think they put too much of the uh, the what is it called the garlic Parmesan cheese spread on it. They put it on the bottom bun and on the top bun, and I think because of that, it just it's, it's the most noticeable thing that you'll be able to taste there. Um, it is very creamy in, uh, in texture. Um, very creamy, and it just has this garlic, this cheesy, real garlic, this strong, potent garlic flavor that it adds to the sandwich. Um, unfortunately, because of that, you know, there's so much of it, they put a big dollop on the top and on the bottom bun, and uh, because of that, it's really this garlic flavor that just fills your mouth. You're not really able to make out any of the mozzarella. Um, you're able to taste very little of that fatty, smoky saltiness of the bacon, which it has to offer, but mostly when you bite into this, it's going to be the garlic that steals the show, and uh, I think that's a mistake that they made. I think they, if they even decided to include it, they should have only put on one spread, not two. Because I think the mozzarella cheese deserves to be showcased as well. Um... The spring mix is just there. It's there mostly for decorative purposes. It adds a little crunch to it when you eat it, but uh, that's it. You can't really taste it because it's all smothered out by the garlic blend, and uh, I believe the onions that they add too. Again, you can't really taste that potency of them either because that is once more smothered out by the garlic. Now that's pretty much the whole sandwich right there. It's not the worst sandwich in the world, but it definitely could use some improvements, i.e. specifically in terms of the amount of the garlic sauce. Um, I think, again, there should be a lot less of what they actually did offer. And uh, if there was less, I think you'd be able to taste a lot more of the ingredients that would make it a better sandwich than it already is. The price of this is $5.99, which I think is rather expensive, especially for what you're getting. Um, so I think it is a little bit overpriced, but that's, you know, that's just how Wendy's rolls. That's just what they do. And, uh, well, what can you do, right? It is what it is, and... Uh, I think could definitely use some improvement, especially in regards of the amount of the garlic sauce they put on it. Um, if you like garlic, that's great, but just you're not going to be able to taste either the bacon or the mozzarella, really. It's mostly more of a garlic, you know, a garlic cheeseburger with bacon. Um, that's just not what they advertise it to be, and that's just a, a big problem. Therefore, factoring in the price and factoring in the product itself, what is the rating out of 10 going to be, with 7.5 being average? I mean, I'm just going to have to give this a 5.9 out of 10. I mean, it tastes acceptable, but it's just not what they said it was going to be. It's not what they said it's going to be, and uh, that's a real issue. You know, it's just too much sauce, drowns out all the important ingredients, and it could just use some work in that regard. Plus, the price could even be a dollar or two lower. That'd be pretty nice as well. And that's all we got for you. I'm your host of the Report of the Week, and this is Running an Empty Food Review. Today's review was for the way, uh, the bacon mozzarella burger from Wendy's. That's all that I have for you. As I said, I'm your host of the Report of the Week. Thank you, and have a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll see you later. Take care. Mm -hmm.